five Jeep Gladiator features I always forget about. Well, good morning everybody and welcome back to the channel. That's right, there are five Jeep Gladiator features that I forget about all the time. You know, maybe it's because I go back and forth between the Gladiator and the Tacoma, I don't know. But I always catch myself when I'm getting in the Jeep forgetting about these things. It's kind of crazy. So the first one actually happened to me this morning because I'm gonna make a video about something. But that is the way you open the hood, right? I mean, in almost all vehicles, you've got to get inside. You know, you got to open the door. You got to fumble around down here trying to find where the hood release latch is. And then you go over and you open the hood, of course. Now, on the Jeep Gladiator, we know we don't have that, right? I mean, all you have are these two little clasps on the side, the little safety catch in the middle, and you're good to go. Pop the hood open and you are ready to roll. Next up are the window controls. I don't know, still, I mean, I've had this Jeep now for quite a while, and I've had Jeeps in the past, right? But I never can remember where the window controls are. You know, you're sitting inside, you wanna reach over here, and you wanna put the window down. But it's not here, because that's not where it is on the Jeep Gladiator, you know, next to your hand sanitizer. It's in the middle. In the center stack, right there. You've got the front and the back right there in the center stack. Now, in the rear, let's take a look back there. For the rare occasion that you might actually be back here, same thing. There are no window controls here. And I've had a couple of times with people in the back ask me, how do you put the windows down back here? Well, they're located over here in the center as well. So at least they're consistent. But... It's just uh, amazing to me that I can never remember, and I'm always fumbling around, and I have to look and think for a second, where are the window controls? Now, next up, while we've got the driver's door open here, this is something that I talk about all the time on the Tacoma channel, and that is the driver's side grab handle. This thing right here. We don't have that in the Tacoma up there, for some reason, Toyota deemed this to be dangerous. I don't know, in the way of the airbag. I guess there was a couple of occasions where, I don't know, the airbag exploded or people hit their heads on this thing. I don't know what it was in the Tacoma. So they got rid of it. They just took it out. But I love having this thing. You know, you have to step up just a little bit. Not much. My, my Jeep isn't lifted, so it's not like I have to step really high to get in or anything. But it's nice when you come over here to get in the Jeep, you know, I just put my foot on the little panel down here, grab the handle and just hoist myself in just like that. Same thing when I get out, I grab the handle and just step back out. Very convenient to have, but I often find after I've driven the Tacoma up there for a few days, I forget it's there. And when I go to get in the Jeep and I start to think, well, where do I need to grab to get in here? It dawns on me that I actually have a grab handle and it makes it much easier to get in. Next up, number four, push button start. I gotta say, I love push button start and I've never understood why people don't like it. And there are a lot of people that don't. They wanna maintain that old fashioned key, right? You know that thing that stabs you in the leg or flips out from the fob when you least want it to? They love having that thing. I can't stand it. I much prefer push button start. And of course, the Jeep Gladiator has push button start. That lovely little button right there. So I don't have to screw around with the key. It's in my pocket. I just jump in, hit the button, and I'm ready to go. Now, oops, the horn works. I can tell you that in the Tacoma up there, I don't have it. And it's been argued that it's because I have manual transmission. Now, I've had other man tra manual transmission vehicles in the past and they had push button starts. So I don't believe that's true at all. I think it's just a matter of Toyota's archaic thinking um, or slow uh, approach to step into the future, catch up, I guess but uh, definitely should have that in the Tacoma. And because I don't, I often forget that I do have it in the Gladiator. This next one, number five, is, uh, is one that I really can't stand. 
Um, I have it in my Jeep Gladiator. My wife has it in her Jeep Wrangler. And that is the dreaded auto stop. Particularly this button right here. You know, even though I can't stand it, I know it's there. I've had this Gladiator, as I mentioned, for quite a while. I never can seem, seem to be able to remember that I need to hit that button when I take off. And I know there's a lot of people out there that don't mind it, but it drives me nuts. You know, when I pull up to the stop sign or stoplight or wherever, the drive through and it shuts off and then shuts back or turns back on, it drives me nuts. And I cannot believe that it doesn't add unnecessary wear and tear to the vehicle. I think it, it should be eliminated, I think, get the pun there. Or I think, uh, I think you should have an option to, to permanently disable it with the push of a button. You know, I had a Porsche Boxster a few years ago and it had auto stop in it, but it had a button that you could push. And if you pushed it, it would stay off permanently. You didn't have to do it every time. You didn't have to remember that it was there. Just a one-time deal and it would stay off. And that gave you, you know, the driver, the flexibility of, uh, of deciding whether or not they wanted to have that on. The argument is that it's a way for Jeep to conform to government fuel economy standards, which I don't understand why they can't do, and that if they put it in and the driver chooses not to enable it, because they do let us turn it off every time, that they then can satisfy that requirement, right? I mean, they don't ride along with you and tell you not to push on the gas too hard, because if you do, you're going to use more gas, right? I hope that's not coming, the pedal accelerator eliminator. Who knows? Anyway, I have one more for you. Number six, I just happened to think of, and that is the location of the garage door opener button or your remote control feature buttons, if you will. I love where it is in the Jeep. They've got it in the visor right here. And I think it's the perfect, if not the only location it should be. And the reason that it bothers me, not in the Jeep, I think this is right is because a lot of other manufacturers will put it here in the rear view mirror, right under here. It's that way in my Tacoma and it drives me nuts for a couple of reasons. One, because in this case, I often remember that it's here in the Jeep and then don't realize that I'm not in the Jeep, I'm in the Tacoma, I need to look here. But it's hard to locate them here. I mean, you're looking out almost into the sun or the sky and it's hard to see, at least for me, I don't know if you experienced this, but at least to see which button is where. And they're close together. You know, these are nice, big, well-gapped area buttons here. So it's hard to hit the wrong one if you don't mean to, you know. But down here with the Toyota Tacoma, they're small and they're right beside each other. And quite frankly, more difficult to locate and operate than, at least in my opinion, they really should be. So I think all vehicles should have the remote controlled accessory, let's call it, or garage door opener buttons here in the visor. It's the perfect place for them to be and it makes it really, really convenient so that you can hit them easily. Anyway, those are just uh, five things in the Jeep Gladiator, five features that I often forget about, um, either because I'm not used to them, I'm going back and forth in the Tacoma, or in the case of the window controls, nobody else puts them in the center that I'm aware of. They're always on the door. Anyway, leave a comment down below. Let me know if you ever forget about things in your Jeep and you have to take a minute to kind of remember where they are, or is it just me? Also, if you haven't before and you're interested, check out my other channel. It is Rob Motive, all about my 2020 Toyota Tacoma up there. Don't forget to click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. And do me a favor, smash that subscribe button on the way out. Stay safe out there. Thanks for watching. Bye.